It's wonderful seeing Katie. It was such a blessing to see her get that baby. I can't thank her enough for everything she's done. Um, he, he's doing great. When we first introduced you to Roberta Bell, she was at her Vicksburg home acting as caretaker to infant Kaysen Burgess. That's because Kaysen's mom, Katie, was an inmate at the Louisiana Transitional Center for Women in Tallulah when she gave birth to Kaysen. At the time, Bell was working as a correctional officer at the facility and was fired for agreeing to take in the baby. Today, for the first time in two months, Bell, Katie, and Kaysen are all reunited. And this time, there's no pressure. There's no looming prison sentence, just a mother looking to do better by her son. It's just amazing to, to know that she wants to get the baby and raise the baby and change her life to make it better for her and the baby. One of the biggest reasons Katie said she wanted someone like Roberta to watch over her newborn was because she wanted to avoid losing him to Child Protective Services especially because Kaysen isn't her first child. My first kid, a friend of mine took him, took her and said that I was gonna, said that she, I was gonna be able to see her. Ended up saying that she would be in harm's way if she was anywhere around me. So yeah, I didn't want that for Kaysen. Three weeks ago, when we first brought you this story, Bell's family set up a GoFundMe account to help support the cost of raising Kaysen. That goal was $5,000. The last time I looked at it may have been a week and a half ago, and it was at $10,000 way north of it. Just how excited were you to see the entire community support, not only from Vicksburg or Tallulah, but also just around the state and even somewhere in the country as well? Yeah. I couldn't have did it without them because it was hurtful being, you know, given my job, you know, it was hurtful. But all at the same time, it was a good thing, you know? And so I love to make people happy. I love to see people happy because I want to be happy. And that baby deserves a life. He deserves a good life.